Hi everybody, this is Lars Vemir and welcome to another LoveyFX tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the Smart Cache node from Craggle VFX Tools. What if I told you that by using the Smart Cache node, you would never have to worry about setting up your pre-renders in Nuke again. You just need to set up the Smart Cache node once after installing it, create it whenever you need to pre-render or cache a section of your Nuke script, render it, and that's it. Once it's done rendering, it automatically turns green to indicate that the rendering is completed and that it's active. And if you want to turn it off, you can simply set it to live. But this tool can do so much more. You can locate or delete your cached files in the Cache File tab. Instead of only using the Merge node that is set to Difference to visually check the validity of your pre-render, you can verify the validity of your Smart Cache node by clicking on this button that says Check Cache Validity. This function will go through your whole upstream comp and check if it's the same as the comp that created this cache. You also get a cache manager with this tool that gives you a functional overview of all of the smart caches in your comp. This manager lets you switch your smart caches to a preferred status on a single or multiple node basis. It lets you jump between your smart caches by double clicking on them in the list view. You can also render them from here or check their validity. In the general settings, you have a few more very useful features that allow you to define where your caches should be rendered to with a relative or an absolute file path, set the colors of your node status, set the render finished sound, and it allows you to set up a few more things. In my eyes, the Smart Cache node is a real game changer when it comes to pre-rendering your comps, managing your pre-renders, and checking if they are still valid. That can save you a lot of time, and it allows you to see the status of all of the pre-renders in your script at a glance. If you have Craggle's Smart Render tool installed, you can even render your smart caches with it. That way, you can set your Smart Render tool to only use a few threads and render your smart caches in the background while you can continue with your compositing work. The reason why I suggested to only use a few threads with the Smart Render tool is because each thread that you're using with it represents an entire version of your script that is running without a user interface in the background. So if your script is really heavy and you're trying to use too many threads with the smart render, your system might not be able to handle it. All right, that was it for this Luffy Effects tutorial. I really hope you liked it. If you want to watch an in-depth tutorial for the smart cache node, you can go to craggle.com and watch the respective documentation video. I'll leave the link to it in the description of this video. And if you want to watch more of these videos, don't forget to subscribe. Again, this is Lars Vemir. Thanks for watching and goodbye, everybody.